Blog Talk Radio. Well, good day, everyone, beloved gods and goddesses. Now, before we start, this is usually this is the time when we do our uh, worldwide healing boost for humanity and for Terra Krista. So here we go. If you've got your headbands on, that's great. So, Jerea, you're with me? Uh, let me go ahead. Okay, got Jerea here. So, everybody, just rub your hands together. Uh, walk over there by your uh, outside, over by a window, wherever you are. If you're sitting, you're sitting. And here we go. This is for, our, for humanity and our world. So, they're healing in math. Five, four, three, two, one, receive. Kind of begin to feel the flow of the energy going through your hands as it reaches out to all the trees, all the creatures, etc., all of humanity, all of Terra Krista. And we say, five, four, three, two, one, receive. From the gods, from the gods and goddesses that we are, we are perfect health, perfect oneness, perfect peace, perfect love, pure, perfect love. We are abundance, prosperity. We are complete, and we know it, and it is done. Leave your hands out there, and just begin to feel, for many of you, your hands could be pulsating and vibrating. Some of you could feel the warmth. Some of you can just feel that energy spreading out. Feel it in your body. You're descending perfect love, pure divine love to all. Nice deep breath in. And release. This is a uh, a love boost project. As a reminder, this is what we do every single day at 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 o'clock Eastern, and wherever else you are at as far as time zone, out in the Far East, in the U.K., in Australia. This is for our world. This is how we help to heal. And you are all gods and goddesses. We are. And we can do this. We can turn anything around. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let me go ahead and bring Zareya in. Zareya, you can unmute yourself. I think you're muted. Check it again. Oh, I guess it is on. (laughs) So, so, first, first of, of all, you wanted, wanted to, to say, say hi? hi? Okay. 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 I, 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 you, you're on, uh, we can hear the echo. So, so just say hi to everybody when you... Uh, Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm walking in the other room here. Hello, everyone. How's everybody doing out there? Well, you know, we've been... Uh, doing, uh, you know, allowing uh, Diane Robbins to uh, read excerpts from her books, but she's not, she, she's feeling under the weather right now, so I'm going to take her place here. So I'm going to read a uh, section Jerea? of our, uh, one of her books. Yes. Yes. Uh, I, I think we we had agreed that we were going to do a meditation first. Oh, 
Okay, fine. <laughs> let's do that first. Yeah, let's do first. your invocation. Well, let's, of course. Let's do Why that not? first. Mm-hmm. Our invocation. Okay, I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll just shut up. Your <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put you... I'm going to... I will... You don't, don't put yourself on mute. I will do that for you, okay? All right, here we go. All right, everyone. Let's go back to your feet. Find yourself someplace that's comfortable, and let's go ahead and start our breathing. And let's do uh, about three of these breaths, and just breathe in through your nose. And hold. And then release slowly. Letting go all the way down. Breathe in again. Hold. And release. Slowly unwinding, letting go, relaxing all your muscles. Relaxing and letting go of all pain and worries. Let's do it again. Breathe in. One. Two, three, four, hold, four, three, two, one, and breathe slowly out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more time. In, one, two, three, four, hold, four, Three, two, one, let go. Nice and slow. And then just breathe naturally. As you do this, you can feel your bodies just letting go and relaxing completely. This is how to start your meditations is to be able to quiet the mind, quiet the body. We will now do our invocation of love, of light, of forgiveness. With Saint Germain, Here we go. And because we are the collective and that we are one, we will say, we are my I am presence. We breathe light and love into our heart centers. We are temples of love. We call forth the full power of the violet flame of love and forgiveness to transmute all of the causes, core effects, habits, records, and memories of every thought, feeling, word, or action we have ever expressed in any time frame or dimension, known or unknown, that reflects anything associated with things such as poverty consciousness, victimhood, separation, powerlessness, low vitality, low energy, suffering, ill health, whatever that is, disease, whatever that is, misuse of male or female energy, misuse of power, self-hatred, shame, belief in being bad, belief in not being good enough, 
fear, rage, blame, hatred, negative judgment and prejudice of any kind, attachment to people doing things my way, or lack and limitation of any kind. With love and forgiveness as my intention, we blaze the violet flame and see and feel the violet flame within your hearts blazing through every atomic and subatomic particle and wave of precious life energy that has our signature on it in any place and time that reflects anything less than the infinite perfection of my goddess or God self. Close your eyes if you haven't done so. And see the violet flame blazing forth throughout from your heart all the way up through your to your head all the way down all the way down to your toes all the way out through your different bodies and auric bodies, field, removing all obstacles, anything that is of lower density. I trust my God and Goddess Self to transmute every speck of my being into the highest love and light and health and abundance at every level of my being. I ask, we ask, our I am presence to fill this space with a golden white light of sources, infinite love and light and health and great abundance. In the name of my God and Goddess Self, I accept this as fully accomplished. We accept this as fully accomplished. And we know it. And so it is. And just breathe in. The divine goddess and beings that we are. As we lift ourselves up into our fifth, full, fifth-dimensional beings that we are. This is who we are. We are this. We are. And so be it. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. All right. How wonderful was that? Now we are ready for our show. Beloved Soraya? Oh, here we go. 
Okay, everybody. Love it, now that I've been on music. There you are. Okay, very <laughs> good. I am. Thank you. Hmm. All right. Okay, now I'll read. <laughs> okay. This, uh, the book I want to read from, be reading from is called Tree Talk by Diane Robbins. And the name of the section I'm reading is called We Trees Stand in Our Divinity. A lot of people who take advantage of trees, you always think, well, I mean, what are they for? You know, the, are they for building houses? Eh, maybe. But uh, also, they happen to be a portion or a part of our population. Trees are people too, but they're in a but they're in a different phase of life. So, it says, I am your tree. Thank you for sitting under my wings. Thank you for napping within my embrace. I too can fly. Although my trunk remains dug in, my consciousness soars to other places and even to other star systems. We the trees are very evolved also, just incarnated in a different stationary form to oversee the land. <clears throat> this is why we have height, so we can see far and wide over the countryside. We know what is happening around you every moment. Even though you are moving around, you are not able to perceive the movement around you. As you have dulled your senses and perceptions through pollution and doubt, you have not claimed your divinity, and this prevents you from recognizing all the varied life forms around you. We, the trees, stand in our divinity and mirror our di divineness to you. If you could but see and feel our branches reaching out to you as you walk by. So stop for a moment. Take time from your hectic pace and touch us. Hold us. Sit under us. And we will respond by invigorating and rejuvenating you with our energy. For supply is endless, and our love for you is endless. I am your tree, and you are me. <clears throat> this is my tree. Oh, this is what Diane, a little excerpt from Diane. Uh, this is my tree in my backyard who channels to me. And when I sit under her branches, she becomes an extension of me and is my antenna to the stars. I am your tree. <clears throat> Thank you for being here with me, as I am ever here for you. I wait patiently outdoors beside your window, waiting for you to acknowledge and think of me. Your time under my bows, bows, is very precious to me, for it gives me the time to commune directly with you as your body is within and my range of frequency, your proximity is within the immediate location, my immediate location. We are both old souls from the past, here again to bring in an anchor light from our Father's ab abode on high. We serve together again, as we did in our past incarnations, to continue to give light to humanity's developing souls, so they may cease wars and begin to live in peace that was meant to be. We the trees here in service to the galactic command too, only we are the ground crew who have dug in and live in our dugouts, so to speak, while doing the same job you and, and having the same assignment as you who walk on the foot and travel on the land. It's just that our physicality is stationed in one spot. 
for our trees, for our leaves blow higher, hither and yon in the wind, and our scent and voices travel far inland. For we communicate with our, our with all life on the surface and below the surface, just as you do. Our bowels reach through the many dimensions as we stand to guard the earth. And we are privy to information coming in all different wave bands also. Our auras are vast and connect us to one another across space. And we span Earth's globe and hold her tightly within our auric arms of green and gold. We bless the Earth for she has given us life. Life to reveal our innermost natures and life to express ourselves in so many ways and myriad ways and forms. For as you walk, we talk. Our voices ever flow, ever follow your footsteps, guiding you on your path through nature's innermost realms where you can play and experience the magic of our species albeit in different form. When you are with us, you are also with the diva spirits who are stewards of your yard. They too wish to correspond with you, but that is another day. Beautiful. There you go. Thank you so much, Jaria. Oh, you're welcome. Absolutely. And what would be your message for everyone for today? Don't give up the ship. <laughs> uh, you got to put humor into the situation that we're in. Uh, but, you know, also, you also have to, you know, take in your, you know, and use common sense whenever you go out. And you want to, uh, like, shop in a store or, you know, a grocery store and buy food for your family. You know, take mind to others around you. And uh, as a precaution, just go ahead and wear one of those, uh, you know, a face mask, whether it be a homemade one or, or one that you, you have bought from a, a pharmacy. That should protect you from catching anything from anybody else as well. So it's not just you protecting, being protected from them, from other people, or them being protected from you. It's it's a it's a it's a win-win situation when you wear one of those uh, uh, surgical mask things. Um, I went out yesterday and uh, I wore one. Of course, uh, they, they aren't letting people into Costco without them, so people are getting upset. Because they can't go, you can go in and shop because they don't have a mask. Uh, you can make your own, uh, or you can buy them, whichever on eBay or Amazon. But uh, you know, for your own safety and your own, preca- own precautions, you know, play their game and uh, wear the mask. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> otherwise, it may not let you in the shop. <laughs> but so. Uh, you know, you know, just follow their little game and uh, make them happy, and you'll be happy, and you'll be, uh, you won't be uh, in a situation where you have a confrontation with authorities and stuff like that. So, uh, <laughs> but anyway, okay. uh, like I said, don't give up the shit, people. You know, don't, uh, you, know, you know, resign yourself to thinking that you're going to get the virus. I can assure you, if you have been taking the liquid gold. You have no 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 thoughts, no worries at all of even contracting the virus. Period. <clears throat> so, um, in the liquid gold, of course, Could I add is to one that? of the wonderful product. Yes, you may go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running out of things to say. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll you'll think of something else. I just wanted to remind people when you are in a high frequency which you are presently. When you meditate and you can just quiet your mind and you can meditate and understand and know, you know, that you are fifth dimensional beings. 
anything that's of a lower vibrational frequency frequency cannot penetrate that that shield that you have. So the other part of it too is uh, for many of us, we're healthy anyways. So there is no that's fear. True. You know the fear that's that true is that's on planet is part of them is really all of the masses that are still that are still asleep. I will talk a little bit more about that probably as we talk uh, during our Q and A, um, just to know that yes, we do have to play the game, you know, as we have always done so already in there in this movie. Because it is a movie. This is all an illusion. And it's an illusion whereby we all learn our lessons. We all learn and we and elevate ourselves through the lessons of being here on Terra Krista. So, uh, with that being said, you know, we have a special guest today. We will we'll be bringing him in in about a half an hour. But before that, I know that everyone wants to be able to talk with Zara or hear uh, from Zora, what he has to say about what is happening now, uh, etc. So, Zoraya, we love you, but could you please bring Zora through for us? We shall talk with you later. Well, fine. Uh, I guess I'm in the... Uh, <laughs> you are. We yeah. love you. Thank you had, so yeah. much for having had, Zora come through you. I had to blow my nose. Anyway... But uh, <laughs> go anyway, ahead and so, put yourself on mute before you do that. <laughs> oh, I already did. I already blew my nose. I did it while you were talking. Oh, all right. Okay. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to be quiet now and uh, allow my father to come through and give his uh, little speech or little uh, exhortation. <laughs> what a blessing we have that we have Billy and Zora to come and speak with us. You have to bring we balance. Have gods and goddesses. And Hello, how Zora. How are you this day? Wonderful. How are you doing, Quasar? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. And we're so happy that you are here with us today. I know you have probably a few messages, so I'll let you go ahead and take over. Indeed. Well, as you as you're all aware, your your nation or your United States or even the world is under a situation that um, you know, has been perpetrated upon you by government. You know, uh, starting out with the Chinese government, their secret government, which developed the uh, the virus in the first place, and uh, so. Um, and of course, it was it was not to be the initial plan was not to use it at all, <clears throat> unless certain events took place, and uh, such as a war between the United States and China, <clears throat> which will never happen. But anyway, so uh, that was the initial development of this uh, virus. It was not to be released. However, due to uh, because of greed of uh, certain individual and uh, other individuals uh, wanting to uh, what is called uh, un- under the false assumption that the world could only support a certain amount of beings, they took it upon themselves to try and rid the world of uh, certain of the of the population to bring down the numbers. So, so they would be uh, comfortable in the understanding, in their understanding, of how many the uh, peoples that the Earth could support. So that was their and that was their plan, and that was what was known as the cabal, and uh, they were uh, trying to initiate that. And they also wanted to be able to do what is termed as be in control of you. So. In, in, a, in a sense, uh, at a certain, uh, a, presently at a certain point, you are somewhat confined in your abodes, in your hobbles. However, 
that is going to be short-lived. And so that uh, the virus is already on the decline <clears throat> in China and in Europe and in Italy, of course. That's, that was a major outbreak there in Rome. And, uh, but all of that is all winding down. Um, they, they now have what you call empty hospital beds in Rome, so they're not overflowing with uh, patients. And the, uh, the virus is losing ground uh, day by day. So uh, keep heart and keep yourself safe by, you know, following their, uh, their game rules uh, until uh, this has been uh, eradicated, which is in the, in, the, in the process of being so. But also understand, when they come out, they're going to be coming out with what is called a vaccine. And the vaccine is not a vaccine. It will actually give you the virus. So do not take it. Do not allow them to give it to you, even under mandatory inoculation. It is not a good thing. Understand, the inoculation has the virus in it. Why would you want to take an inoculation that's going to give you the virus? That is ridiculous thinking. Anyway, you have you still have the right as a human soul to say no. And uh, what can they do with you? Uh, you know, you refuse to have the vaccination? Fine. So you're quarantined in your house. Big deal. Understand, you have the right to say no. And my advice to you is say no, because you don't want to be given the virus. And the inoculation or the vaccination that they're going to come up with, so a so, so, so-called cure of the virus. And I can assure you, your immune system is the only cure you need. Your immune system you need to fortify. Once you have fortified your immune system, the virus has no ground to attack you. If your immune system is low, then it has a, 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 a chance to get a foothold on you. But by taking the liquid gold RX, that will eliminate that possibility. So you want to, uh, by what you call, uh, rules and regulations by what is called the company put on the distributors, uh, which is called compliance. Um, I am not allowed to give you the C word, but I will tell you, it is the answer to the virus. That's all I need to have to say. It is the, <laughs> it is the answer. Now, it will, it now, will enable your body. It will enable your body to to fortify its immune system. And what did I say? The immune system, once it is fortified and raised to a high level, then you have no chance of contracting the virus. So, hey, Zora. Enough said for that. I just wanted to, Zora, can I just uh, yes, you may intercede ask. for a second can, here? Uh, you may do so as, to, at your leisure. <laughs> I just wanted to add as well. And you're, you're, you're there not, are, in, you're not there understand. Are, well, let me explain something right quite to the people. I am, uh, Quasar is not interrupting me. She is adding to what I have said. So don't get that mixed up in your heads. She is not what you call, uh, you know, uh, putting me off. She's just adding to it. Okay, we can't you. put you off. We can't put you off, Zora. Anyways, I just wanted to mention to that. people also that uh, some of Indeed. you already have, you don't, you, you don't have the liquid gold. However, you may be either taking the Rain International products like Soul or you're prob- you might have even the Limbic Arc. Those two, the limbic arc, remember, is also quantum. The liquid gold RX is quantum. This is limbic arc is the most amazing 
energy, quantum energy that goes directly into your field also to increase your immune system. So it enhances your immune system as well. I think one of the difficulties with people is that, well, it's just energy. And so I think I'd rather prefer something that I could uh, drink or, you know, there's some substance to it that you could touch or taste or whatever. So that's part of the understanding that you think that you're purely physical, which you are not. You are very attracted. We are all quantum beings. So therefore, anything that is of a quantum, anything in, of nature that is quantum is absolutely something that your body, that your, your whole energy system is, uh, a, you know, is affiliated with and really can bring into your system for your healing. So please don't, you know, don't um, think that that's any less, um, uh, less of a uh, less strong or potent uh, as the liquid gold. So you have alternatives. The Soul from Rain International also is an amazing, amazing product because that also goes directly into your bloodstream to help to remove toxins as well and to build your your uh, your circulatory system, your blood system. So. You've got some options here, everyone. So the other thing, too, of course, is um, some of the, the products also from Fulmina that uh, Jared talks about. So you have at your disposal many products. For right now, we do feel that the Liquid Gold RX, however, is something that people can actually taste and know and feel the difference as far as their body because it is moving into the circulatory system to help them to, uh, to, to heal. So, all right, so that's, that's for the coronavirus. So my questions are for you is probably two things before we bring in our guests, and then we'll do Q&A. So one, uh, people are still, uh, you know, um, if you could please address the GCR and the uh, RV, um, and, you know, many times we've heard you say, oh, it is imminent, it is here, you know, it'll, we know it's under the divine plan, it's going to be done this month or that month and the month before, et cetera, et cetera. And I think, you know, with your vision, Dora, tell us at this point, because you, you can only foresee what the collective has has kind of moved into to where the obstacles come into play. So just tell us from your point of view information about the RVGCR and the politics that move along with it. So we know where we are well, where and we uh, sit with all of well, that. Well, understand, understand that uh, before the corona breakout uh, situation, uh, everything was slated to go at that point. I mean, globally. And uh, this put a bit of a damper uh, because of the situation. Uh, it has not stopped it, but it has put it, it has slowed it down. But it has not uh, eliminated it, and it cannot eliminate it. So understand, as, every, as the uh, virus is winding down in other countries, uh, in Italy and in England and in uh, France and areas, and then the things are getting back to what you call the norm as far as finances. So understand that businesses are beginning to open up in in, in, in Italy and also in in Europe and uh, back up, open back up, I should say. And uh, the the fear is losing ground rapidly. And uh, the only area who has what you call more fear presently is, unfortunately, the United States. Oh, but uh, that is the media. And understand, all media, I'm not saying all media is bad. I'm just saying be selective when you listen to the media. And also understand, with your own understanding, that... You as a whole can change the media, can change the the outcome of what's going on. 
uh, you are not what you call limited beings. You are unlimited beings, endless beings. Every one of you are gods and goddesses. Why aren't you acting like it? Why? Because you listen to the fear mongers. You listen to the propaganda. You listen to the, what you call, all negativity, and you accept that. And when you do that, by the law of attraction, what do you get? What you have. So turn it around, people. Stop thinking coronavirus. Start thinking 5D understanding. You are fifth dimensional beings. You are not 3D anymore. Period. End of story on that. But remember, the RV has not stopped. It is still in process. It has just been slowed due to the situation the global situation. But understand, the media have been told to report certain things in a certain way. And because of that, you are hearing all negativity and very little positivity. So until that turns around, my suggestion to you is turn off the boob tube. call the TV and just go and meditate instead of listening to the media just meditate you'll be a lot better off anyway so understand that the the politics behind the RV has not stopped it will continue until it breaks free and it is in the process of doing so. But understand, this corona issue has just slowed it down. Hasn't stopped it. It just slowed it down. So stop with your fear. Get rid of that. Take all that fear and throw it out the window. Understand. People, stop Falling and pray to your fear. And as I said before, you are not your body. Your body is a simple vessel that is housing your essence, your soul, your, what you call, your uh, creativity. Your body is a vessel. That is all it is to house your soul. You have no, and there's no, no reason to fear the virus. Those who have ascended were, were what you call their contract was up. And it was time for them to move on. So what, did they, what, what happened? They ascended. Either with their body or without it. But everyone ascends. No one dies. That is a, uh, uh, what is the term? Uh, misno- misnomer? Mis- uh, what do you call that? Anyway, <laughs> having to play on words. But anyway. It's a no thing anyway. Just remember. <laughs> with what? It's a no thing. A no thing, absolutely. It's a no thing. <laughs> so stop playing into the fear. Turn off your TVs uh, when it comes to news. Forget about it. Watch your favorite other programs. But do, leave, the, leave the, the news to those that are interested in hearing it. But you simply, when it comes time for your media uh, reports and things of that nature, just disregard it and go meditate. You feel better and you'll uh, be better for it. Hey, Zora? Yes, you may add something if you wish. <laughs> <laughs> so besides meditating and uh, just 
accepting what is in this, what is happening now, part of turning it around, obviously, is to switch your thinking to something positive. To think positive Absolutely. and to do things that are positive now for yourself and for other people Absolutely. around you. Absolutely. So what do you Indeed. what do you suggest for that, Zora? Well, I, I suggest this. As I have said before, you are all healers. Understand that? You know that. And you and you know it within yourselves. So those who are able to do so. Go out and heal those that are ill. That could that prove a problem like right it. now, Zora. Well, I'm talking about the ones who are able. Did oh, I not? okay. Yeah, you I didn't did. say everyone. Right. I, I right. said go ones who are able and confident to do it, to go out and heal their fellow man. They could do that energetically as well. They can do it energetically, yes. We do that every morning, uh, energetically. But you can do it. Uh, You start out with your immediate family. Then you go to your friends that you know. Find out how they are. Uh, Find out if they need anything. And if they do, help them. If they are lacking in something and you have uh, ab- ability to help them, like for the shut-ins, ones that are shut in, uh, you know, go in, out there and assist them. Put your, for, put your, put out your, step out on faith and help those less fortunate than you. I'm not saying to go out and do it this time. That's to put yourself in in a in a state of uh, a possibility of contracting the virus. I am saying to go out and assist in the healing of the nation, the healing of the world. Do your part as well. Not just sit at home in your hobbles. Go out and do. Go out and give assistance to those who don't have it, who don't have the assistance. Like the homeless. If you go see, if you go out and you see someone who's homeless, go to a what you call what you term as a fast food restaurant uh, drive-through. And buy them a meal and take it to them. They will be grateful, I can assure you. So those that are homeless in your area, in your community, go out and help them. That's all I need to say on that. I just wanted to add one more thing regarding that, Zora. Go right ahead. So, well, I know that at least in our community, uh, there are uh, they are low on food. People are low as far as the uh, the food. Um, what is that called again, Zora? Food bank. Food the bank. Food bank. Food banks, right? So, you could assist in that way if you have anything that is canned goods, etc. You know, go ahead and do that. You know, put in the effort. When you put in the effort to give, you remember that you always get back a hundredfold. So do what you can. You do Every single day, do your healing and send it out energetically. And just do the little things. You know, if you have a neighbor down, you know, down the road, you know, and you see them, you say, hi, how are you guys doing, et cetera, et cetera. That is energy. That is love energy at work. And if you're alone, that's, you could do that as well. You just do that um, energetically and do it more so, you know, every day, every every moment when you can. And, and you know that people are suffering out there. You say, I send you my love. I send love to all of you that are suffering, that are ill, that are in the nursing homes, that can't make, they can, that are having problems with making uh, making do. 
you know, just energetically send them that love because you're not sending it to their bodies. You're sending it to their higher selves. You're sending it to the essence of who they are. So that's, that's enough of that. Now, let's, oh, Zora, one more thing. I just wanted to mention that um, if you could, I'm going to go ahead and bring in our special guest because I know that uh, Stuart probably has a few things that he would like to add in regards to uh, just to how things are moving along for him and uh, et cetera. So Indeed. if you will, understand. let me go ahead and bring no, him in. Understand. I'll bring him in and then you well, can I, go I, ahead and introduce him. All right. Go right ahead. Okay. All right. Thank you, Zara. All right. Here we go, guys. All right. I'm going to have to call him in since he um, he was not on the call at the start. Uh, so here we go. All right. And... <clears throat> Ringing, here we go. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, Stuart. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How about you? Great. We're great. Um, you're live now on our blog talk show, and Zora would like to give a little bit of introduction. Before you, I know I'm. A, I know I'm alive. I'm looking in the mirror. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Zara. Thank you, Stuart, for being here. Indeed, uh, beloved gods and goddesses, the person you are about to hear is what you call the incarnate of Crazy Horse. Uh, you know who Crazy Horse is, yes? A Indian. Uh, who uh, was in what is called the uh, the Battle of the Little Bighorn and other issues, but also understand that he it was a great man uh, and is a great man. But I also tell you that this beloved entity, uh, Stuart Grant, if you were to look at him and look at a picture of the crazy, crazy horse, they are identical. So he even looks like him. Uh, he uh, he's also an actor. He in, in Hollywood. He is also what is termed been on shows such as the uh, uh, see, um, uh, and Angela Lansbury, which is called Murder She Wrote, I think it's called. Um, uh -huh. And uh, of course, he was in an, he was in an episode of that, and uh, he is the he has been in the movies. Uh, of course, I will let him uh, you know, uh, give more information about that if he wishes. But he is a wondrous being. He is in contact with his ancestors, and they will most likely have a message for you. So I'm going to, without further ado, uh, Crazy Horse, come forth. Uh, hi, everybody. Um Oh boy. Um yes, I I had done that was my last um job. Um was uh Angela Lansbury's um Murder She Wrote. It's called South by Southwest. It was two hour movie of the week and it was her last so I, I was her last sheriff. Sheriff John Sunrise is who I was. And um oh Dennis uh Dennis Quaid and Danny Glover's uh switched back um so I was, so I was in Angela Hansberry's. I was a sheriff. Um, right before that, that was um, switchback, and I was a murderer. And right before that, I was in uh, Wagons East, and I was a, a gay Indian. So, um, <laughs> and I pulled them all off. So there you go. Um, and a lot of other things, voiceovers. Uh, mm, how the West was won. How the West was lost. Uh, into the West. Um, that was a voice of Crazy Horse, um, Quinta Parker, um, a Cherokee, um, oh, a bandit, I guess you could call him. His name was Ned Christie. So, I mean, yeah, I, I was around, yeah, uh, entertainment business for a while. And, um, 
So uh, uh, this spiritual journey I've been on since I was born, I think, <laughs> um, at, after Angela Lansbury's show, they came to me and said, you're leaving. I said, mm, I'm climbing the ladder real fast and you want me to leave my career. Yes, when I never ask why, I'm going to ask you guys why now. Come on, tell me why, because this doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> and so I had been writing Where Eagles Fly the Life of Crazy Horse since 1994. Um, um, I just had a, a feeling to start writing that after Wagons East when John, that's where John Candy died, nine days before we we finished shooting. Um, in Durango, Mexico. I mean, Mexico, not New Mexico, Mexico. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, so I started writing it in 1994. This is 1999. They're telling me to leave. And, uh, you know, <laughs> make a lot of money. Come on. You, you can't, you can't, you, you can't, you can't tell me to leave. So, I said, why? And they said, you can't write a spiritual script with the energy that you are in. Had no idea until just a few years ago what energy I was really in. <laughs> uh, um, now, I don't think anybody that I've ever I, that I worked with was in this uh, Hollywood pedophile ring. Um, Democrat, probably Republicans, a lot of people. Uh, you know, not just not just um, the people around the White House, but a lot a lot of people, a lot of different people. Uh, and I'm sure you've read or maybe know about the pedophile ring. But let me let me start by saying by reading you this. Um, a galactic general has been coming to me. This is before I knew who he was. He came in and, and gave me this, and, and I've, write, I've, I've written some things down, and I, I always date everything when, they, when it's given to me, but some things, a lot of things I don't write down. Um, this is what he said. He came in and he said, um, I've come a long way. And then he said, I have come from the creator of life. This is taken, and then, now he's talking about the redemption, because I knew what he was talking about. This is, has taken longer than we thought, underestimating the evils of man. We will go on to rebuild all that has been forgotten. Welcome to the portal of the worlds beyond, the vast enlightened realm of of the conscious and unconscious. All will see as days and nights unfold. Be patient. So th that's my op that's my open. <laughs> and I'm going to close with that after I tell you what what I I have learned from a lot of different sources. Um you know, they always when they when people don't have anything to say, they always say racist. See, we're a human race, no matter what color we are. It just depends on who you are in that race. Well, in the race, in in that race, <laughs> the race of humanity. But anyway, um, um, and so <clears throat> there are two races on this planet. The reptilian race, and maybe that's what the reptilian race is talking about themselves. I don't know. Maybe that's it. Um, um, reptilians are cold-blooded, so when they do things, when people do things, and have no remorse, none. I mean, just it's like, oh, I'm not supposed to be around you. You're reptilian. Guess what? I am. I'm not. <laughs> I'm a crystalline person, and so. <clears throat> And so the the lessons that we've learned are, well, yeah, we, I was going to say me, but we have learned whether they're, they're good lessons or bad lessons, they're all good lessons. You know, it's like, oh, I'm not supposed to be around that person. Thank you very much. <laughs> and so anyway, um, 
the the reptilians what i've learned is the reptilians um uh, ruined blew up whatever our planet um in the in the um uh, in the um uh, Pleiades uh, star system, and it's called the Seven Sisters. I mean, that's what we call it, the, the um, American Indians, the Native Americans, the indigenous people. And, um, and so our DNA from the Seven Sisters was put on Mother Earth. And, um, and because, because this uh, these people, this 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 DNA of these people, which I am one of, um, uh, it it was it was too important, um, and now we know why that we've been chosen because this is what we're about to receive. This is important to this world, and they knew back I don't know, hundreds of thousands of years ago that. It, that Mother Earth was going to be the planet, and um, and so um, n- now th- this is this is even hard for me to talk about. Is this um, pedophile ring um, that have been doing these things for we don't know how long? And um, and I'll just make light of it before I start um, in with the Hollywood crowd. And, um, and I was talking to a friend of mine, and I said, um, this next Academy Awards where there are going to be six people in the audience, that's supposed to be funny because of all the people that are they're picking up. And they're picking up, them up for us. So we can have this redemption. So we can go on with our lives and and uh, help others and um, have all these projects that that we have um, penciled down, inked down on piece of paper uh, for a lot of years. Me, just a little over a year. So I can't even imagine some of you people out there that have been doing this for. <laughs> I mean, listening to these calls for I don't know ten years. Oh my gosh, I I don't know if I'd have that patience. But and and uh, well, I'd have to have that patience, wouldn't I? So so back to what I was saying. Um, um, so uh, the oh also the Pleiades and the Seven Sisters. No matter where you go in the world, the petroglyphs of um, the Reb- Aboriginal people in Australia. Well, they got petroglyphs of the Seven Sisters. We, on Nor- in North America, us guys, us people, we have um, petroglyphs of the Seven Sisters. Um, the Mayans, all of those indigenous people, scientists look at our DNA and they go, where'd these people come from? All of a sudden they were here. And that's the truth. <laughs> The indigenous, but what? The indigenous people are here all of a sudden. So anyway, back to what I was saying. So anyway, the so these these tunnels that these reptilians, these so-called people, I, I you can't even call them people. Anyway, the reptilians have dug. Um, um, for an example, from Utah to underneath the Denver airport. It's it's a tunnel. Well, um, they have been they the Marines um, have been going in to these tunnels, getting its kids out. Well, wait a minute. Before they get the kids out, there is a um, reptilian or a pedophile army that they have to fight. And then after some of them have gotten killed. Um, the, 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 under their, uh, the stench, I can't even imagine the stench, and the horror of what these men have seen in our own land. This is our own land, picking up our own children. 
that are still alive, so to speak, um, and fighting so-called Americans that have got these children. Um, and so these children are the pedophile ring. Well, um, the satanic rituals um, that uh, Hillary Clinton went to once a month uh, with Beyonce and, uh, you know, a lot of people, a lot of different people. Well, Beyonce is is the high priestess of the spirit cookers. Never heard that word, uh, those two words together um, until uh, uh, two weeks ago, a week ago. I don't know. Um, so they, uh, it's going to get gruesome, guys. It really is. So they have a little kid, a little child, and maybe a baby. I don't know. Um, and then they scare it to death. Uh, you know, violate it and this and that and everything and then scare it to death. And then they extract the blood out of that, out of that child and um, take it to um, Bill Gates's lab. Oh, shoot, did I say that? Anyway, they take it to a lab and that lab extracts adrenochrome out of that blood. Adrenochrome keeps all of these so-called Hollywood stars, I never did call them stars, um, uh, it's a job. Come on, guys. You know, it's like, and let me let me kind of <laughs> make light of what that just, that gruesome sight I just gave you. Um, I knew that I could be, n not have a job, n needed rent money um, and everything else, food and everything else, and I knew that I could go uh, t t tomorrow because I hadn't had a job for six months and had money in my bank, I could go tomorrow and say, would you like to have f fries with that hamburger? Welcome to McDonald's. Well, that's – that's because I wasn't making, uh, you know, like – $30 million a film, you know, like some of these people. But um, they lived so high on the hog that that, that could have happened to them. You know, uh, welcome to Arby's, <laughs> you know, jeez. So anyway, back to, back to um, spirit cookers and adrenochrome. So they shoot up that adrenochrome to keep them um, um, not, not to age. To, to, to keep their youth. Um, and there's a few pictures that were sent to me. One was um, Celine Dion. She looked like a gray alien. You know how skinny they are? Well, and that drawn face and all that kind of thing. That's what she looked like. And uh, Johnny Depp was another one. It looks like they just were dug up out of the grave. And let's take a picture of you, Johnny. <laughs> I know you're dead, but and I, I guess coming off of that is very, very painful. And so um, that is adrenochrome. Um, the the tunnels that well, I'll back up. Um, for an example, China Lake. Oh, there was an earthquake. Nah, it wasn't an earthquake. Um, they go in the the, the military, the Marines go in, and I know two Marines, but they won't say anything. They won't tell me nothing. And and they won't even tell their dad. And so anyway, they go in, and they fight, and they get these kids out. Um, there was over a 1,000 children they got out from underneath China Lake. Well, it's it's by China Lake. It's not. It's it's just. There's a lake called China Lake, and then there's another little town. And and so anyway, it was a tunnel under there, a thousand to twelve hundred kids. I don't something like that. And it's always a six point seven earthquake. And then there's an aftershock of six point four. Well, those aren't earthquakes, guys. <laughs> They're not. They're blowing that tunnel up. And um, and so 
um, some of these Marines have been killed for us. Um, some of them, um, mental, the mental state after seeing something like the cribs, little children, kids that have never seen the light of day, all the way up to 17 years old, never seen the light of day. I mean, I mean, that is, boy, the Clintons are sick. Well, a lot of people are. But anyway, uh, underneath the, uh, in New York, the Clinton, the Clinton Foundation building, um, uh, there's a tunnel from the building to the New York port, uh, New York City port. Uh, I guess bringing kids in, taking kids out, I don't know, selling kids, selling body parts. I mean, that's what they do. They, that's, oh, that is what, um, uh, Planned Parenthood is. Selling body parts. Wonderful, isn't it? Anyway, um, uh, so back to these, this, this, underneath that foundation, foundation of that building, they found um, around 100,000 corpses. Um, <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> um, so, so here's China Lake. Uh, here's someplace in Utah, the border of Montana, Idaho, and the last one was Lodi, California. Um, and that was, I think, last week. Um, so the Marines, and it's, I don't know why it's just the Marines. I think uh, President Trump only trusts the Marines. So um, anyway, the, the Marines have gone through, you know, this is the blackest op they've ever, probably they've ever done and ever will do. Um and and one of the guys I know, he is a black op. He is he can't tell anybody. I I don't even think he can tell his wife where he's going. And um about a month ago he um no his dad didn't know where he was and he thought he was in Afghanistan, came back, um and he's okay, but he um was wounded somewhere in his body. And he's he's okay. He's up and around and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if it was in one of these tunnels. I don't know um, because he he's a leader. He he is like the guy that goes in first. And uh, so anyway, those are some of the things I wanted to enlighten you on, seeing as how we are enlightened people, and. Uh, and Koi sent out something today uh, about when we go in, um, the quantum financial system, computer, whatever, they will tell us. It, it will show up on the screen um, what we're going to get because it can read our hearts, our minds, our spirit, um, our integrity, our humility all of that together. And so what I read you, October 14th, to, uh, 2019, of this galactic coming in and saying, um, you know, welcome to uh, the portal of the worlds beyond, the worlds, um, quantum financial system, uh, and every, every world that we're in. Because we are our own vortex, our own, and and we have become holograms, and that's what Koi had, had said. And so, it, the vast enlightened realm of the conscious and unconscious, we will see as days and nights unfold. Well, that's what Koi put out today. Uh, that they can read who we are they know who we are before we even go in pretty neat huh so <laughs> yeah. 
So that was um, very, very wow. good. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. Uh, is Thank you is there a question much, or? You're welcome. Well, how about uh, uh, Zora? What is your? Uh, uh, tell us what um, your thoughts are on this, as far as Stuart has uh, given us. Very accurate. So we thank okay, you. there you go. Goodbye. <laughs> no, don't go too far. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Are there any questions for, uh, oh, talk, hey, uh, listen, on, a, on, a, on another positive note, Stuart, and I know that uh, you always get messages, um, is there, are there any messages either from um, Crazy Horse or other beings that you are you know, <coughs> always so close to? Um, this is what they keep on saying to me. Um, okay. Um, yeah. Um, w they're working as fast as they can. And so they, they, they just say, this will happen. Be patient. You were chosen. And they always say, you were chosen. You, you know, it's like you're, the people that I'm out there that I'm, that's listening to me, we were chosen. And, and, and I know, and this is me now, I know that, you know, we're a human race and we always want everything now. <clears throat> At the same time, um, you know, patience is a virtue. You've, you've heard that. I mean, a million times. You want to strangle somebody that says that um, <laughs> because they don't know what you've been what, what you've been through and what you're going through right now. And so, and so they just keep on saying, "Be patient. It's going to happen." And you were chosen. Know that you were chosen. You were chosen. I mean, I don't know how many times I have heard that. <laughs> And I don't, I don't ever, I don't ever get tired of hearing it because, because you know when, 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 when you do, when a person does get something from the ethers, the, the gift that the Creator gave me of of uh, the hearing and sight, because um, sometimes I see who, you know, I am, I was, I whatever. Um, and and um, and go back into the past and and go into the future and 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 that's that's just a, a humbling gift that was given to me and you know people go oh you're an actor uh huh uh huh well when you, are you acting now <laughs> well no <laughs> so, that's that's what I that's that's what that's what has been given to me and that's what I think that I sh should have said or should say, um, uh, you know, again, that that uh, you were chosen. All of us were chosen to to be here at one at, at at one in one place at this historical. I mean, people. I don't know if you know people that are not not. Uh, um, patient, they, they don't know how historical this is. Thousands of years in the working, and and we're here. We're we're here to see it, to feel it, to taste it. To you know, every 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 sense we have, that's we are really doing that. What were we going to say, Jane? Well, before we open up, I you know before we open it up for uh, Q and A. I would like to also say, when you say we are chosen, obviously we understand in terms of we, but you are chosen also to have received that gift to know the to know the truth of what was happening over there in Hollywood and to be able to express that to people. And now you are also chosen to help to make the changes that are necessary for the Hollywood, for Hollywood. That's all I had to say. Oh yeah, it's it's uh, I I don't e I don't even have the words of where wh what I was in and not knowing it 
and then leaving it and then and then finding out uh what 20 years later uh, wow <laughs> what, what? I mean, I I wasn't I wasn't in it, but I was around it. Let, let let's just say that. And oh, let me yeah. finish with a spirit cooker, okay? So here's this high okay. priestess of Beyonce that um, maybe is in Gitmo right now. Um, I don't know a noose around her neck. I don't really know because this is crimes against humanity is what these people are getting picked up for, and. Um, <clears throat> So, um, uh, better have a barf bag. Anyway, uh, close. Anyway, here is this person. Uh, uh, after they violated this baby, then they cook it and eat it. This is a human being they are eating. Now, is that, I mean, is that the sickest thing you've ever heard in your whole entire life? Only a reptilian could do that. No remorse, cold-blooded, they eat their own, you know, all that kind of crap. So, anyway, uh, okay, I'm ready for Q&A. Okay. <laughs> well, I just want to just ask, I have, to, I, I have a question for Zora. So, Zora? Yes. Uh, oh, there you are. All right. So uh, are we talking about that so many of the people, the celebrities and actors, et cetera, et cetera, and we're looking primarily at the Hollywood um, uh, individuals, are they predominantly, you know, are they predominantly the Yuckchillians and that uh, that's why they came here to do this, make money, and then be able to take advantage of people? And where are the good guys? Pretty much. There. Pretty much. But there, there are, uh, there are, is, there's also many in the Hollywood scene that are not privy to that. And, of course, uh, Stuart was one of those. Um, I understand that uh, uh, he was taken out of it before he was corrupted. Uh, so he, he was, uh, uh, he, he was, you know, he had a um, um, he had the guidance of his ancestors, and his ancestors says, "Leave now." <laughs> and, that, and the reason they said leave now was because he was about to become involved, unbeknownst to him. Mm. Oh, and, uh, so so it was uh, a good thing that the ancestors got him out of there. I, I've always been protected, always. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, did I interrupt, Zora? No, you're fine. Okay, um, I've, I've always been protected. I, I've always known that my, they just protect me to, I mean, they're around me all the time. And, um, of course and not, yeah, And not necessarily I would be corrupted in that way. I, I would, I would, um, I don't, I don't know if I'd freak out. I don't know what I would have done, but um, you would have but out. At the, yeah, okay. <laughs> and and at the same time, it was like it's like okay, we're protecting you. We know what's going on without them saying it, you know. And and we know what's going on, and we, uh, we don't want you to see this or even know about it until um, you are ready to. To, to know about it because I'm you know I, I I know I wouldn't have seen it because because I'm I'm not a Satanist I don't you know I right. I worship I worship, worship the Creator knowing that I am not in control <laughs> it, took, it took me I don't know four or five days to, four or five days to figure that one out oh Stuart you're not in control no they never did say that one day I just go oh no wonder I listen to you. Because all they told me, they they said, because I, I kind of asked how this worked, and I and I they said, well, the creator tells us, and then we tell you, 
And so you know everything that we've told you is a truth. And I go, yep, everything has been the truth. <laughs> and, you know, we'll never lie to you. And I go, how could you? The creator's given you this information to give to me. So uh, uh, there you go. Thank you. I, I just want to add something to this. Um, thank you uh, very much for your presentation and your heartfelt, uh, you know, and all that information. And it's uh, so hard sometimes to, I can't even think about it. Um, it it's, it's so very painful. It uh, brings a lot of tears. And um, But I think uh, this is a huge, huge wake-up call. Not only are we fifth-dimensional beings, and really to know that, and to know that's why we are chosen and why we are here, that should become even much more apparent as life becomes unfolds before us. Because remember that life is a gift, and why we are here is a gift, and why things happen is a gift. It's a gift of providing us, to, to helping us to become more enlightened about what is out there and how do we elevate ourselves into a higher understanding and knowing, and then for us to be able to find the solutions to all the things that come our way. And that also is very uplifting in terms of who you are. It gives you the power because you are the creators, just as uh, because that's who we are. We are source. We are the God sparks. We can do what we came here to do. And that is to be able to assist humanity to become the beings of higher dimensional beings that they are, which is what we are all presently doing presently as we are speaking on this and to remind us all of who we are. So, and to also know that, yes, we can get beyond this because we know that that is just, this is something that we have had to learn and then to be able to move beyond it. So, uh, if everybody is ready, Zora, Stuart, if you're ready for some questions and answers, I promised our folks that we would have the second half of our show to be all about Q&A. It's all about each one of us as the collective. So let's go ahead and get started. Thank you, Stuart, for being here Indeed. for this day. And, yeah, you're uh, welcome. Here we go. So Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Stuart. All right, so the first person we have is uh, 950-905, I'm sorry. That was a little bit of my dyslexic um, reading here. 905 <laughs> ending in <laughs> 442. 905 ending in 442. Hello? On the air with Stuart and Zora. Yes, hello. Hi. Hi. Um, Sorry, I can't stop crying. It really um, hurts me to hear that. Like I have a seven-month-old baby. I'm being hurt. Aww. So, so how beautiful. Tell us who you are. Uh, dear, tell us who you are, where you're calling from, and who your question is for. Is it for Stuart or Zora? Um, my question is for Zora. My name is Jessica from um, um, Ontario. And I'm just wondering if we could do a healing for the children. Okay. Uh, children worldwide? Uh, yes, and for the children that are being, you know, killed and for adrenal chromage, I just can't stop crying. I know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right, Jora. Let's everybody do this together. Five, four, three, two, one. Receive. Five, four, three, two, one. Receive. This is for all the children of the world. All. Those that are suffering due to child trafficking, human trafficking, child abuse, exploitation, etc. And for all of the beings of light as well that are being born, that are in within homes, for all of the children of the world. Go ahead, Zora. Indeed. You are all I see the, com- all the uh, love uh, vibration is going outward right now, out to the world. Oh, 
Also understand all of this that was just spoken of was unbeknownst to you. You had no clue as to what your so-called Hollywood stars were capable of. Mm -hmm. Understand that this all was stemmed from what is termed as the intervening and the disturbance of the Anunnaki. Now understand, they brought in all of this. They brought in this understanding. And they used the term, they used the, uh, what you call the guise of Satanism to bring it forth. Understand, it is a horrid aspect of the human race. But it was time for you to know. It was time for you to know that what is about to occur and what is about to change. Understand... Trump became privy to this information and immediately dispatched uh, globally what you call the black ops and, he, and, and dispatched them to do away with these nefarious individuals. And of course uh, not just China Lake, but, and not just uh, outside of uh, uh, California, but also globally, in France, in Italy. And uh, so, uh, all major cities, Beijing, China, all of these areas, all were having, having this information, or having this process being done and it is all being shut down as we speak not just the marines of the United States but also the marines of China are also going in there underneath their cities and discovering these tunnels and also doing away with them you have heard of earthquakes in China they were not just earthquakes they were the uh, the shutting down of these uh, cults and things of this nature. So all of these, what you call earthquakes, unless they are ones that uh, do destruction on the surface, all of these underground quakes are all having to do with the elimination of these cults and these what you call uh, baby uh, eatings and things of this nature. All of that is being taken place now. And, but you needed to know what your, uh, what you call your entertainers, a lot of them, not all of them, a lot of them, were partaking of. You were wondering well, there are a how lot they were of looking politicians. so young. Zora, there are a, a lot, lot of politicians, politicians as well. well. Oh, yes. Oh, of course. I'm not just speaking of the entertainment industry. I'm speaking of governmental as well. Even huh? beyond Indeed. governmental. Bill, yes. Uh, Bill Gates and uh, the Clinton Foundation and what you call the uh, uh, Hillary uh, area, or what you call the Bill Gates Foundation. It has George Soros and his money. Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. So all of these wealthy individuals that are not uh, on this call or listening to this call were involved in this situation, and that is all being eradicated and done away with. And then that was also the need for the arrest that are being done. So now you know there's more to it than meets the eye. There's more to it that is being done, that is being um, cleared out, and uh, exploitation of children is all coming to an end. 
all this uh, human trafficking is going to be coming to an end. Uh, it is in the process of being coming to an end right now. What is termed as the, uh, uh, what you call, the uh, port authorities are now doing what is termed as searching vessels, yachts of the elite, and things of this nature, because they are involved too. But understand, all of this is all coming to a head. And as it does, all the, uh, what you call, disclosures beginning to occur. Right now, it's human disclosure. And what is called the, uh, the secrets that are being held away from you. But very soon, you're going to have the galactic disclosure. And that will bring <laughs> a close to your governmental control completely. Your military you, government control is about to end. Well, uh, since you're talking about the uh, the governmental control, could you talk a little bit more about that in regards to the republic? I mean, and uh, Trump's stepping down and he's going to be <laughs> heading the republic, or tell us how that's going to work. Understand that the new republic is not does not have any part in this uh, in what is going on beneath the grounds. They have no part in it. No, they, the only about part that, they though. have in it is to eliminate it. Right. Excuse me, Zora. Yes. Yeah. Well, no. What I, I was referring to is in regards to Trump and uh, his stepping down so that the republic can begin. And uh, is he going to be uh, the, the the person that's he going to be a head part the republic? He, he will not. He, uh, no, the one who's going to be the head of the new republic is going to be a female, and that female oh, yes, that's happens right. to be Native American descent. Okay, Zora, thank you. Okay. All right, everybody. Enough said Let me go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start off. I won't, say, I won't ask any more questions. So let's go ahead and get uh, some questions answered for people. And <clears throat> one question per person. Tell us who you are where you're calling from, and if, you, if this question is for Stuart or Zora, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, let's uh, go with uh, 208 ending in 8394. Hello, 208 ending in 8394. You're on the air. Hello? They're okay. not there. Well, let's... <laughs> They're not here. Okay, so <laughs> we <laughs> All right, next question is, question is coming from uh let's see. Uh, how about 678 ending in 9066? 9066. You're on the air with Zora or Stuart. Hi, this is Vivian. Can you hear me, Jane? We can. Oh, my God, Stuart, you just blew me away. <laughs> well, was, well, there's, there's more. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I was planning on holding that for the last for the last, last resort to, to hear about exactly what's going on. I've, I've seen headlines and whatnot, but I, 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 I went past them. Um, I have a tiny, Your a tiny question for you. It, my question, um, and it's just a confirmation from you, actually. My, I have a nephew um, named Ruben, actually, who told me about the brulee and um, Beyonce and her part in it probably about 10 years ago. Um, and that's where she, is that where she got her start with the brulee? Uh, who, who got her start? Beyonce. Um, she, she's not, she's not a Lakota She's black. What do you mean? I don't understand the question. Well, there, there's an African American group called the Brule, and they follow all of the the occult um, happenings, and they sacrifice wow. and everything. Yeah. Thank, thank you for enlightening me on that. Thank you for enlightening me on that. I do not know about that. 
I do not. Um, I wasn't. I wasn't born on the reservation. Never. I mean, um, on the fourth day, I have to leave the reservation. The shame sickens me. I I, I get sick for three for for three weeks. But it, I don't know where she. I don't know. I uh, Hillary Clinton. I you know she's she's pretty much the 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 big the, the big um, Kahuna. Um, Obama, uh, his man wife, um, Michelle, Ro- Michael Robinson, whatever. Um, so that's um, and and the Bilderberg Group, the 300 in the Bilderberg Group, um, they they are picking up people all over the world, and they've got a choice. They go, you want to die of of, uh, of coronavirus, or do you want us to hang you? <laughs> so, anyway, that's that's that. Uh, the two okay, ships. Uh, sorry. Okay. All right. Yeah. Go ahead and finish. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Finish. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go. I have to let you go, Viv. Okay. Zora, uh, Zora, can you answer a little bit of that? Can you give us a little bit of uh, insight into that question from Vivian, also? I was uh, listening to something different. Go ahead. Zora. Indeed. No, I said I was listening to an, in, in, in a, what you call a communications from Prime Creator. Go ahead. Okay. What was the, uh, well, what, what, what um, was the uh, question you wish me to elaborate on? Well, this is what uh, Vivian was asking. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of open up one more time. All right, Viv, I'm going to go ahead and open up your line one more time and then go ahead and ask Zora again your particular question. Hold on a second. Let me find you. Um, first, I've got to find you. Here we go. All right. Oh, nope, that's not you. Yeah, let me see. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open uh, your line uh, one more time. Viv, go ahead and uh, could you ask your question to Zora also? Yeah, Zora, can you hear me? Indeed. Yes. Indeed. Hi. Um, my nephew had mentioned to me about 10 years ago about Beyonce specifically belonging to a, it's a specific um, African-American group that, that branched out of the uh, Illuminati um, in Hollywood, I believe, well, Hollywood, because they couldn't keep their jobs, and they they would sacrifice and everything, um, everything that's talking question? about. And my question is, is that is that where Beyonce picked up her beginnings with the brulee? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Zara. Thank you. Thank okay, you, Jane. Here we go. You're welcome, Viv. Okay, our next caller is going to be, let's see, let's, uh, well, when the, that person is not there. All right, uh, 530 ending in 8,000. I know who this is. Okay. Okay. You That's are the air. Me. I am I know. Uh, Teresa. One question, Teresa. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. From Sacramento, and uh, I just wanted to say thank you to Stuart. That was, um, you know, just uh, something else to hear, but I, uh, yeah, you know, we have heard bits and pieces. Um, and my question is for Zora. Uh, yes. I'm doing it. I'd like to go back to Canada because I'm from Canada originally. And is the inoculation, uh, or excuse me, I don't know that um, it's mandatory to, for the virus. Um, will that stop me from going to Canada um, because I'm not interested in having that done. And I would say go home now. Well, I don't think that I I can't necessarily do that. Um, I'm I've had this you know the stroke as you recall, um, and mm-hmm. I'm still dealing with the you know the side effects. Um, and we're in Understand, shutdown. Understand, beloved. Understand, beloved. 
when you're saying you're having diff- having issues with the side effects, what are you doing? By the law of attraction, by making that statement, you are drawing it under yourself. You want to do the opposite. Uh-huh. You want to say, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, I receive from the goddess of my being. I am completely healed of the effects of this stroke, and I know it. And be done with it. You do not ponder on it. You do not think of it. You just forget it. Because it no longer has, is no longer a part of you. Well, we are in shutdown. Uh, my brother is in Canada, and he is also... And I don't know what the, the status is of the in airlines shut at this time. In shut well, down. we have a mandatory um, lockdown, and um, I don't think you can leave the United you? States at this time. Yeah, there, there's now? complications. There, yeah, with no, you travel can't leave. Now. No, yeah, you won't be able. You wouldn't be able to cross the uh, the border at this point. Where are you now? I'm in Sacramento. In um, staying with a friend. If you are, if you are a citizen of Canada, you may return to Canada. If you are not a citizen of Canada, then you will have difficulty going to Canada. But if means you are a citizen, they cannot stop you from going home. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, Teresa, we okay. have to go on, dear. Okay. So I think you I'll have you I'll know what your options that. are. Yeah. You know your I options. Don't feel like, yeah. You go to the border, and you uh, announce to them you are going back home, and you, they will ha- ask you for proof that you are a Canadian and you show them the proof you are Canadian, and you are allowed to go home. Okay. And I would have to do that right away? I would say so, yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Zora. Thank you, Teresa. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Be positive. Be positive that you can get this done. Be positive and go home. (laughs) <laughs> All right, so now we okay. have um, 941 ending in 2219. You're on the air. Oh, hello. That's that you. That was accidental, but okay, I'll speak. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us who you are when you're I calling did, I was just listening, and all of a sudden I... I heard my number. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Well, you press okay. yeah, you press one, so that puts you. Oh, it 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 lights up, so that <laughs> you have a question. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and say a couple things. I'm thinking. Number one, I can't thank you enough for the truth you brought forward. It takes so much courage Indeed. to speak that kind of thing. So I just appreciate it so much. Number two is saving those kids is what it has delayed the RV. In other words, we're quarantined. It might have been easier to do it now. If that's what it takes to save those kids, I gladly wait. So yes. As much as, it yeah. Is part, it is part of it. Yes, it is part of it. So yes. And I don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 that's, yeah. Can I jump in here? Sure. Of course. Wait for it. Okay. Uh, I've got you on mute um, here. No, 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 not you, Stuart. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, uh, um, uh, yeah, the Hollywood group has always been tied in with with politics. Always. I don't. I don't know why that works, but that that. But all you have to do is take a look at pencil neck shift. I mean, he looks like a reptilian. Uh, nervous Nancy, you know. Uh, uh, that little fat toad looking guy uh, Nadler I mean they they look reptilian I, I just just I I think what I do is I go out of myself and then look at what they look like and then I go oh 
okay, I get it. So they're in with all of this other stuff, you know, the the the, the selling the drugs and the kids and the this and the that and uh, selling body parts. Um, I mean, it's just it's it's terrible. And uh, these two ships were taking these people, these these reptilians, to Gitmo. They they weren't they weren't for the coronavirus because nobody got on the boat that had coronavirus. <laughs> they went to Gitmo. They just refurbished Gitmo five hundred million dollars. So the, people are getting picked up all over the world. Believe me. And so yes, I'm. I, yeah, it's easy to be patient now, isn't it? You bet. Okay. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for that, Stuart. Okay. Next person Thank is you. 775, ending in 9099. Hello? 775, ending in 9099. They're not there either? Uh, <laughs> Hello? <laughs> okay, we'll go ahead and close that. All right, uh, next person is, uh, hold on a minute, I've just got to get myself here. Hello? I think, um, all right, hold on one second, everybody. Uh, 502 ending in 7576. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zora. Hi, Stuart. Hi. Hello. Uh, this, is Pam in, this is Pam in Kentucky. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to Stuart for telling us all about this. I've been reading about it forever and ever. And I am just appalled by it all. But um, my question is, uh, when will the public be informed of this? And are we going to be rid of these people forever? And who's Either the question one? for? Either one yeah. can answer. Okay. Both of you can answer. Go, go ahead, Stuart. Okay. Go first? <laughs> all right. Well, uh, yes, that's why they're getting picked up all over the world. And they and they you know and they got a choice. It's going to be like a Nuremberg trial. Um, only they're get, they've got a choice. Okay, you're going to die this way, or you want everybody in the world to know what uh, crimes you've committed, um, and uh, and then and then get on the gallows, and we'll give you a noose, and you, and we'll hang you. Uh, and that's crimes against humanity. That's what they do. They hang them. And that's what happened in the Nuremberg trial. And, and so, um, um, so anyway, that, that's what is happening all over the world. There's 200, I don't know here in the United States, but I know that there's, there has been over 200,000 indictments and they're picking up people right and left. Um, uh, Oprah Winfrey, there was red tape around her house. She's, she's part of this whole thing. Um, Ellen DeGeneres. Hold on. Um, Hold on. Hey, uh, Stuart, excuse me. You're kind of stepping really on sensitive area there, so I, I need to get a clarification from Zora in regards to Ellen DeGeneres as well as Oprah. Zora? I'm here. What, what about uh, Oprah and uh, Ellen DeGeneres? Understand that uh, Oprah, she experienced that type, uh, I mean, abuse when she was a child. So she is not privy to this in her, to this uh, life as to uh, partaking of uh, child sacrifice. So she, she is was, one. She is. She was. She was. What? She is one of them. Then. No, no, no. She, I, I, like I said, she did, was not 
in, into it because she experienced it herself. Yeah. So what, are, what, what about at present now? Does she need to be at, alleviated? Mm. Not presently, no. Um, um, let me let me say there's a lot of people that there's a lot of people that know about this that haven't come forward. That's all, and that, I think I think uh, mm-hmm. Oprah is one of them, and maybe Ellen is one of them too. But uh, they can't get the adrenochrome anymore, so they can't, and so that's why they're 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 shrivel up and and dying. They're shriveling up and dying. And so there you go. Know, That's there's some people there's yeah, some but, people that know about it that haven't come forward. That's all. Yeah, but uh, I thought you were saying that she was also part of this. Race. Well, if you're it, it, the thing is, if people. whether you do it whether you do it or not do it, uh, and you know about it, then and you haven't come forward. So that's what I'm saying. I'm sorry. I, I should have clarified myself. Sorry about that. They haven't come forward because of fear uh, of not not just ridicule, but uh, uh, they would be in the, uh, what's called have, be, uh, receiving death threats from the ones that are involved. I understand. So Ellen DeGeneres also, ha- this was done to her when she was a child? Well, yeah, her dad... Yeah, that's why she dresses up like her dad, you know. Yeah, her her dad, but I don't I don't think that had anything with the the pedophilia uh as far as just her dad. That's that's what I um think um don't don't know for sure. I don't know her, but um yeah, these are the people that know about it and like uh, Zora said that that uh, uh Zora said um that that they would be ridiculed, they'd be thrown out of Hollywood, they'd be thrown out of everything. They 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 probably are getting death threats, and and so and so, uh, and that's why they haven't come forward. And that's, but Johnny Depp looks like he's warmed over dead, and that's what it does. It 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 makes mm-hmm. you older than you already are because you don't have the adrenochrome anymore. That's okay. all. Thank you. Thanks for and the clarification, the, uh, Stuart. Okay. And what about the public I'm disclosure? Sorry. What about the public disclosure? Of this? You're talking about yeah. the public disclosure or galactic disclosure? Um, whichever, <laughs> whichever one. <laughs> in in regards to the ped- pedophilia and all of that, or are you talking yeah. about something else, yes. Pam? Yes, to, uh, you know, all the people involved in this. And because we were reading that during this COVID thing of being quarantined, that uh, Trump was going to disclose what was actually going on about the children being rescued and and um, the uh, pedophilia and all that. Right, right, right. Yes, that, is that, will be, that, will be, that will be revealed. That will be revealed. Right. I, can I just okay. say one more thing? Yeah, I just want to say one more thing before we go on. You, Thank you very much for uh, th- uh, for coming out with this uh, question. Thank you very much, Pam. I, I just want to mention to people, if you've not seen the movie called Out of the Shadows, you everyone needs to watch it. It's called, the movie is called Out of the Shadows. So it's a very, very important call. That's the reason why we're having movie. this call today. <laughs> okay. okay, so sorry. this is to open up your eyes. All right, so let's go on to the next question. Let's see. Let me see where am I at now. Uh, we'll go over here to – wait, hold on a minute. We did this, did this, this. All right. Um, let's go over here to. I think I don't know if I did this already. Uh, two o eight ending in two eight six five. Let me see. Okay, let's try 
928 ending in 28. Oh, hello? That's me. That's me. Uh, this is the phone number yeah. ending in 2865. Yes. Hi. This Welcome. is Helen from Sedona. Hi. Thank you so much. Okay, I, Helen. Hi, I Helen. appreciate your guest. Okay. Hi. Um, I wondered if I could get a little more clarification on the Anunnaki. I got a little confused um, because I've been kind of working on this pedophilia stuff and uh, the banking industry, how it all ties in. Uh, the Anunnaki, are they pretty much like reptilian? Or are they a different species than the reptilian hydra and reptilian um, groups that, that are, you are saying are um, helping to promote this uh, fallen one's agenda of false worship and ritual abuse in particular with the pedal rings? Mm-hmm. Do we do we know any more about that? And if, if the Anunnaki are reptilian, um, are all reptilians you mean- pretty much like that in the universe? Mm-hmm. I mean, kind of corrupt like that. I don't know. Okay. Well, uh, Stuart and Zora, I think we'll we'd like to hear from both of you. Go ahead, Stuart. Um, <laughs> um, it, <laughs> when uh, let's go all the way back to when they um, uh, blew up, um, you know, some of the planets, and uh, well, they'd rape them, rape the planets of gold and whatever else. And then, and then, and then blew them up. And then we knew what was going on, the indigenous people, and so that's why our DNA is here. So, so th- this has been going on. This war uh, between us and them have been going on for uh, I don't thousands, if not tens of thousands of years, and not hundreds of thousands of years. And um, and um, any any and in, in the Anunnaki enslaved people, as I understand it, and so th- that's what we have been in is slavery. <laughs> so Zora, um, take it from there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, the Anunnaki are quite avid uh, reptilians. Uh, you would term them dinosaur, but highly advanced. So yes, they were reptilian. And, they were all uh, reptilian. Zora. Well, not not all of them, no, but um, most of them are, and but and they messed with your DNA. To bring in what you call duality. So, yes, they are. And uh, they also need to, um, you need to realize that the tampering of your DNA had to do with what you call uh, the mining of the. uh, natural resources and things of that nature. And that has also been uh, uh, a greater part of what has been going on in, in your world. And uh, But all of that is going to be revealed upon the, uh, what you call, galactic disclosure uh, so it will all be brought to a head, and uh, so you will know. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate uh, your uh, input right. on that, and of course, there's a lot of forgiveness there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, Helen. All right. Next person is four zero seven, ending in one five three zero. Hi, this is Gloria down in Florida. Hey, Gloria. Hey, uh, I just want to let y'all know I've heard about the things with the Clintons probably more than 20 years now. But my question is, the royal family I heard was um, reptilian, and that Harry is not involved in it because he has a different father, and that's 
one of the reasons he left was for the protection of his wife and child. And, you know, Prince Andrew evidently is involved. Is that right? Uh, yes. Laura? Yes. And the royal family is involved as well, the whole family. Wow. Oh, yes, of course. They are the royals. Well, except, for, except for Harry, right? Except for who? Harry. Gary, the one that left uh, the U.K. He married Megan. Because oh. <laughs> I heard he had Megan. a different father, so he wasn't in the direct bloodline. Oh, uh, yes. Um, um, yeah, it was um, um, Diana's bodyguard, yes. Looks just like it, yeah. if you've ever seen a picture. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I and um, I, I think he's oblivious. To it, that's that's my feeling. I don't know, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I mean when uh, Meghan Markle, okay, um, when when she wore and I saw a picture of this um, Halloween, she wore a mask and it was Hillary Clinton's face. So yeah, I'd say she was involved. Yeah. Oh, you think Meghan was involved? Oh. Because I know yep. Harry said he left the UK to protect his wife and child, so I just was oh, wondering. Come on, Harry, just the payday. Yeah. Okay, so Megan's yeah. involved in this. I I don't know for sure, but um, uh, when I look at it, I can't even look at her. I I just uh, I cringe. It's just like oh jeez, this that okay, he's so, he's okay, so. he's oblivious. But go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Zora, what do you say? What do I say about what? Oh, about the... Uh, the, the, the about the Megan. About Megan. Right. Oh. Well, the wife um, of... Uh, Harry. Prince Harry. Oh. Most likely, she is p- probably involved. Wow. Okay, there we go. Thanks, Gloria. Okay, thank you. Okay, love y'all. Bye. Okay, all righty. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Um, now we have uh, 916 ending in 1936. 916 ending in 1936. Hello. Hello. Hi there. You're on the can air. You yes, we can. I'll let everybody know who you are. Yes, this is Karen. I'm calling from California. Thank you so much for taking my call, Jane and Zoro. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, my question is your for question Zora. Is for, okay. Uh, Zora, I wanted to know, um, this is something pertaining to health, and um, I've been experiencing uh, oh. tingling, uh, almost like numbness, tingling uh, in my feet, lower extremities, and my arms uh, when I sleep at night. Um, my doctor can't seem mm-hmm. to figure out what it is. Are you able to tell me can what's you, going on? Yeah, can you do a quick scan on her, Zora? What I want you to do is I want you to rub your hands together and I want you to place them crisscross your wrists and put them on the base of your neck. Okay. Let me put my phone down just one second, okay? And let me put my headset in. Indeed. Go ahead. Can you all hear me? Of course. We can. Okay. So put my hands together and crisscross my wrists. Crisscross your wrists and put well, uh, your hands on either side of your neck. Oh. Right. Yep. Already? I'm going to count from five to one. When I get to one, I'm going to save you seed. 
You're going to count from five to one. You're going to say, I receive. Then you're going to say, from the goddess of my being, the parasite that was is no more, is eradicated, and I know it. Five, four, three, two, one, receive. Five, four, three, two, one, I receive. From the goddess of my being, the parasite that was is gone, and I know it. Is gone. Is gone. Give your hands there. And now you, and now your hands are no longer tingling. Your feet are no longer tingling. Thank you. Where was it located? It was on your brainstem. And it was one. And you contracted it. You contracted it by eating something that had a parasite within it. Mm, okay. I uh, a okay. week ago I started the liquid gold as well. Well, that is not in the liquid gold. I can assure you that. Uh, no, I mean. Um, in terms, <laughs> I'm talking in terms of like helping with it continuously. Oh, I keep of course. taking it. Of course it will. It, it is a preventative measure. It will also uh, fortify your immune system against any viruses as well. And parasites as well okay. for the future? Well, that as well. It's, it, once, you, well once your immune system is fully fortified, uh, parasites cannot take hold of your being. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Okay, Kara, thank, thank you. you. Thank you okay. both. Thank you. Very right. appreciate it. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Next person is three one three, ending in four five nine five. Yes, this is Jimmy Hello? from Detroit. Oh, hey. From Detroit. How are you, Jim? Okay, yeah. you're on the air. Um. Yes, I. Uh, excuse me. Uh, since last night. I w- I've been having problems with my uh, internet connection. I I don't know if it's part of this uh, days of darkness that's been talked about, but uh, I'm unable to access my email or any um, website at all, except Skype, the, the only one I'm able to get into. I, I was wondering if, if this is part of this darkness we were told about or, or that's been written about lately. Laura, could you possibly... Understand. Understand you have you have what is called um, uh, when 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 your when your internet <coughs> connection is overcrowded. A lot of times it's going to cause sluggish uh, service for you. So the best time for you to be on what is called the internet would be during the daytime. And nighttime would be where it would be much sluggish, uh, what you call. Well, that's what it's Because more people night, are on the night. internet at night. What? Yeah, well, it, it is not part of the three days. Night. Yeah, but. Oh, no, it's not Zora, part of the three days. Yeah. Yeah. Zora, he wants to know also if this is part of the three days of darkness. That, that's over. But go ahead and let people uh, know over. that. Oh, oh. Yeah. Well, you know, it started last three, week. Three so days of darkness is what you call communications. Yeah. Well, again? Um, well, you know, it started last night, Zora, and um, <clears throat> this morning, or you know, when I woke up this morning, it's still doing it. And every time I click on my email or Facebook or whatever, it says this page is having a problem. <clears throat> and, yeah, um, you may so, have to just you know, continue not able- to reboot it. Yeah, yeah I, I, I check I check with my daughter who has the same provider and she's not having that problem. So I, you know, I thought it might be my provider, but that's that's not the case. So no, I, you know, I don't want no, to be not. targeted. Or... No, 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 turn no. Your computer off. Wait. Turn your computer off for about and on about sixty seconds, and then turn it back okay. on. Okay, yeah. I did that. You have to reboot uh, and, it. And, and also that. turn also turn off your router. And leave that off for ten seconds completely, 
So it's completely uh, has no current going through it. And then we yeah, and uh, turn talking, it back on. Yeah, I it this morning and did that. So, I, you know, I thought that might be it, but it, it, didn't, it didn't work. But I'll do it again. Okay. Indeed. Okay. But yeah, because, have, because so many people are stuck in is because the Internet yeah. is not functioning properly because everyone is on the Internet. Absolutely. Well, I understand, but I, I haven't had this problem until just, you know, starting last night. So I, I thought it was some kind of development. We were being um, kept, you know, kept uh, off of off of our email and everything for some reason. I, I didn't know. I thought maybe you could tell me. But, um, yeah, I guess that's All right. uh, what you're saying makes sense. Okay, thank you, thank you Jim. It, it is what you call a, a it is called a sporadic uh, outage. Uh, it, yeah. kind of, it comes I'm, and goes. Yeah, I I've been experiencing that myself, uh, and it it seems like it happens for uh, for me anyways in the evening. So, yep, it's all about uh, the interruptions and everybody being on the um, internet. Okay, we have uh, op- uh, we've got two more callers, and we're going to call it a day. So the next caller is 623, ending in 6317. You're on the air. Hi, uh, this is Denise from Phoenix. Hi, Denise. Can you hear me okay? Hi. You can. This call, uh, this, of course. This question is for Zora. Um, Stuart mentioned something about um, Michelle Obama being a male or had been a male at one time. Uh, can you confirm that? It is uh, that is a uh, actuality. Oh, she is a man. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. All right. Well, all thank right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. Indeed. All right. Um. Oh my goodness. People are just coming on the line now. All right. Next person is four zero five, ending in uh, zero three one six. 405 ending in 0136. Right, Hello? Uh, Hello? Okay, well, I guess she does what she she, you know, that's okay. All right, we'll go ahead and put her back on uh, okay, mute. Okay, find the phone. Oh, yeah, on your cell phone. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Everybody, if you press one, know that you're going to be uh, called upon. All right, so let's go on from there. Uh, we have, um, all right, so let's go back to this person because we couldn't get a hold of her before. 775 ending in 9099. Hello? Oh. Hello, am I coming through this time? Yes, of course. we're on the air. This is Chris in Sparks, Nevada. I want to definitely thank uh, Stuart for bringing all this information to us globally to wake up the humanity. It's, it's You're welcome. Really awesome. And the second thing is, I also want to thank you for letting us know how the quantum financial system works so that we make sure that the people that are going to do humanitarian projects get the amount that they need to do those projects with. I think that is fantastic. And I have one Indeed. question for uh, I have one question for Stuart. Um, is there anything that the ancestors have would like to tell me anything? Do they have anything to pass on to me? To you. Yes. You mean to you or to? She she has Native American heritage. Yeah, but, Uh, I mean, we're talking about you or we, all of us or you? I'm I'm talking about myself. I know I should be talking for everybody, but I'd like to know if there's anything they'd like to tell me that I should know. <laughs> Something came to mind that that at um Orrin Lyons he he was a um uh, Algonquian chief and I had lunch with him a long time ago and we were talking about just uh us in general indigenous people in general and he he just he looked at me and he said you know I was on 
the lap of my grandfather. And this, and he says, what we're talking about now, and I, it, I just remembered, I, I was about three. And I said, well, what? And he says, a drop of Indian blood goes a long way. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> it, it it supersedes everything. Every every uh, everything that uh, a person has in them, they are, you know, their heart, their soul, their spirit um, is is um, you know American Indian or or indigenous. Thank you. Does that help Thank you? you? I appreciate. It. Oh, absolutely. Answer my question that you made. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Okay. La, let me see. We've got, um, hold on a second, 623 ending in 6317. Oh, I've already been on. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Okay. All right. Here's our last caller. Our last caller is um, 405 ending in 0316. Oh, thank you so much for taking my call. You're and what a, a lot of call. calls. Yes, I am. I'm so glad to get it. I am so thankful. I have a question for Zora. And this is a wonderful and what is your name? I want to say. Uh, my and name is Margie is from name? Oklahoma. Okay, Margie. Oklahoma. Uh, yes, Oklahoma. <laughs> uh, anyway, I have a severe, woke up with severe, uh, I can't take deep breaths without pain. I've never had anything like it. Uh, maybe it's an ascension symptom, I don't know. But when I breathe or try to take deep breaths, I try to do that when I'm uh, meditating, I can barely do it without these sharp pains all throughout my back and my rib cage. It's like pockets of gas is the only way I can describe it. But uh, well, I just hands uh, wanted to know maybe, I know wrist. Zora can discern exactly what that is. And what I can do, I've tried drinking some baking soda, and I think I released a little bit of gas, but it's still very painful for me to deep to deep Beloved breathe. goddess. Yes. Beloved goddess. Yes. Rub your hands together, and I want you to place them both over your heart. I'm going to count from five to one, and you're going to count from five to one. I'm going to say receive. You're going to say receive. I I receive. Then you're going to say that the murmur in my heart is no more, and I know it. And also, you're also going to say that the, what you call, the blockage within my lungs is gone, and I know it. Are you ready? Yes. Five, four, three, two, one, receive. Five, four, three, two, one, from the goddess of my being, I receive. I receive. Receive the Minerva in from my the heart. From the goddess of my being. From the goddess of my being. The murmur in my heart is no more. The murmur in it. my heart is no more. Is no more. And I know it. And I know it. And my lungs. And my lungs. The, what blocking, you call the blockage in my lungs is. Also the blockage gone, and I know it. Is the blockage in my lungs is gone, and gone. I know it. Indeed. Now just and sit there quietly for a few moments, and uh, you're going to begin to feel a sudden rush of what you call air going through your lungs, mm-hmm. and also. You're going to feel a also a more stronger heartbeat than you have before.
Do you feel your heartbeat being much stronger? No, I can't say that I do. I'm having to stand do you, up. Do you have a, do you have a hey, hey. school? Mm-hmm. I don't, but not available. Not, no, no. When you get a stethoscope, put that on your heart, and you will notice a much stronger heartbeat. And also, I want you to take three deep breaths. Oh, it's painful to do it. Okay. How long have you had this? I just uh, just happened last night before going to bed yesterday. All right. Hey, Sarah. Indeed. What so? Could you Thank please you. check her for the ch- check her for yeah. some virus? Well, I just yeah. got over an infection, kidney. Mm-hmm. All right. That I'm claiming I've got healing for that from the goddess of my being. Indeed, you do. I don't know if it's related to that kidney infection or not, but I didn't even bring it up. But it's something new. Still a little painful. It was when related, I tried. but no more. No more. Yes, no more. No more. No more. Are you taking the liquid gold? Uh, no, I'm not. Not not at this time. Had some a long time ago, but All no. Right. <clears throat> If you if you are able to get a hold of some, I want you to begin taking uh, four squirts under your tongue in the morning and four under your tongue in the evening. Okay. And that will rectify the issue. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right. And we don't. We'll let you we go. know a direct cause for this, though, to avoid. I'm sorry. A what? Is there a direct cause to so I can in the future to avoid whatever brought this on? It's not an ascension symptom, is it? No. No. The the painful well, breathing. Okay. Can, can I interject something? Sure, go, go ahead, ahead. Uh, Stuart. We you have uh, oh. yeah we we've got like two two yeah <laughs> okay go ahead real quick okay um yeah I we we uh, as a collective um, people um, we are raising our vibrational level um, to where the galactics want it because it it is raising the um, uh, the earth and all of the um, um, 60 seconds okay uh, anyway and we, as we're raising because um, I've, I've felt just different things as we're raising yeah there are parts of our body that are go- going to be doing some weird, weird things because we're not I, I don't think we're going to be human anymore <laughs> that's what I think anyway that's it I think we're okay, going to be crystal. We're, we're crystalline people. What? Indeed. Okay, Zora, you want to end up the call? Let's do a nice big boost. We got uh, 25 seconds. 20 seconds to go. And Stuart, five. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Receive. Receive. Four. Two, one. I receive from the goddess of my being. We are completely healed. We're perfect. We're abundant. And we know it, and have yourselves a wondrous, glorious, and loving day, everyone. Thank you.